Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I am Dr. Pallavi Gugoy of Krishna Kanta Handik State European University. Today I shall take up Unit 6 titled Vocabulary, Synonyms, Antonyms, One Word Expressions. This is from the course Foundation Course in English, Semester 1, Block 1. So let us quickly begin. First I shall begin with a table of contents where we shall discuss the learning objectives followed by vocabulary, synonyms and antonyms, questions to check your progress and the references. Coming to your learning objectives, after going through this unit, the learner will be able to define the term vocabulary, discuss the various items in vocabulary, differentiate between synonyms and antonyms, and learn one-word expressions. Vocabulary. The Oxford Dictionary defines the term vocabulary thus, quote, the body of words used in a particular language or in a particular sphere. When we refer to active vocabulary, we generally refer to the word stock or knowledge that is in use. Some of the vocabulary items are as mentioned below. Number one, synonyms and antonyms. Number two, one word expressions. Number three, words used as different word classes. And number four, phrasal verbs. Coming to synonyms and antonyms, you must have heard of these terms. The term synonym refers to similarity or sameness of meaning of a word. Though it is difficult to find examples of total synonymy, some of the examples highlighted show near synonymy, at least. Antonyms refer to oppositeness of meaning. In other words, antonyms are the opposite of synonyms. To provide you with examples of the same, you may note the word, for example, abandon. The synonym would be, or the similar word to abandon would be leave or give up. And the opposite word or the antonym would be stay or retain. Here are the other examples. Bliss. Synonym would be happiness, antonym would be unhappiness. Brevity. The synonym would be shortness and antonym would be lengthy. So that gives you an idea of what are synonyms and antonyms. One word expressions. Now one word expressions help to reduce the length of a piece of text without affecting meaning and thereby giving a compactness to one's expression. Here we shall look at a few selected one word expressions. Let's take the word alien. A person living in a country of which he is not a citizen. So you see this long description can be summed up with just one word, alien. Similarly, amphibian, an animal that lives both in land and water. What would you call some, something that has life? Animate. Or a medicine that destroys the effect of poison, that would be antidote. What would you call a person who does not believe in God? A theist. What would you call an assembly of hearers, an audience? So you see how these descriptions are captured in just one word. To give you a few more examples, something that comes once in a year is annual. The life story of a person written by himself or herself is autobiography. Something that cannot be heard is inaudible and something that can be heard is audible. A person who cannot pay off his debts, bankrupt. Coming after every two years, biennial. Life story of a person, biography. So you see now how one word expressions are used. This brings us to questions to check your progress. Question number one, define the term vocabulary. Question number two, what is the difference between synonyms and antonyms? If you can give examples. Question number three, what are one word expressions? Question number four, give an example of each of the following. A. Synonyms, B. Antonyms, C. One word expressions. Question number five. Give one word expressions for the following A. The life story of your person written by himself or herself. B. That which can be heard clearly. C. A person who does not believe in God. Here is the reference. I hope you would go through the BA English self learning material. Thank you, dear learner.